Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So we're going to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix in this video. So we need to start by uh, getting into the right mode. So we want matrix mode, so that's 6. And then we can choose to put in a total of 3 matrices, we're just doing 1, so let's go for mat A, for matrix A, so that's number 1. And if you're going to be finding the inverse of a matrix, it needs to be a square matrix. So uh, you would either want to choose 1 or 5 at this stage. We're going to go for a 3 by 3, so that's uh, number 1. And then we're given a matrix with all its elements 0. So all we do now is key in the elements that we want in our matrix. So let's have 2, 2, 1. So that's our first row done. And then let's have a couple of negative numbers. So negative 1, negative 1. And there's our second row completed. And let's have 4, 5, 3 for the last row. So we've input our matrix. So now we can clear that. And then if you look above the number 4, you can see that we've got a matrix written there. So we're going to do shift and matrix. So we want to get our matrix A, so mat A, so we're keying in 3. And we want the inverse, so we use the reciprocal button. And that's all we need to do, equals gives us our inverse matrix. And you can see in the matrix we've got decimals, so the, um, the element that's highlighted initially is the 2.6, but it's shown as a fraction, as a top-heavy fraction in the bottom right-hand corner. So you could look at each element in turn, if you wanted to, to see what it is exactly. In this case, because we're working in fifths, all the uh, decimals are exact, but if it was something like sevenths, you would just have approximations here. So you may want to refer to the bottom right-hand corner to get your exact values. So we can look at uh, each value of the matrix in turn if we want to. The important thing here is not to try and use the x to the power of anything button. That won't work. So all you need to do is remember that you want to use the, the button that you'd normally use as reciprocal to find the, uh, the inverse matrix. 